It's day nine in the Anthony Burfoot corruption trial. The Norfolk City Treasurer is accused of taking bribes in exchange for favors on City Council. And today we heard from another high profile developer who claims Burfoot tried to make several deals with him. Ten in your size, Jason Marks, continues tracking this developing story. He's live outside of federal court. Jason? Guys, prosecutors have really rolled out its case now. They wanted to show how there was a pattern of deceit by Councilman and Vice Mayor Anthony Burfoot. They showed one by one people who took the stand saying they gave Anthony Burfoot bribes. And today we heard from another one. Thank you. Anthony Burfoot arrived at Norfolk Federal Court for the third week of his trial. Once again, he heard from another high profile witness claiming they bribed Burfoot for favors. How you doing? Today, the prosecution rolled out bar owner and developer Tommy Arney. Arney told the jury he met Burfoot in 2006. Arney told the court that Burfoot was interested in a property he owned on Lafayette Boulevard. Arney says Burfoot wanted to get Norfolk redevelopment and housing to buy the property at more than what it was worth, and in return, Burfoot wanted $50,000. The deal never got done. Later on, Arney says Burfoot wanted to buy another property he owned by ODU. Arney wanted to sell it for $3.5 million. He asked Burfoot what the plan was for the land, and Burfoot told him he was going to resell it to the ODU Real Estate Foundation at a much higher rate. That deal never got done either. Arney then told the jury of a deal he did enter with Burfoot. Tammy Sansbury, the mother of Burfoot's two children, wanted to buy a condo in a building Arney had just developed, but she needed $25,000 to pay off credit to get a bank loan. At the time, Arney wanted to build a gentleman's club in downtown Norfolk called Granby Cabaret. Arney told the jury he paid Sansbury the 25 grand, and in return, Burfoot had promised to get the permit for the club. Arney said construction even started before he got the permit, and Burfoot even asked for a key to the back door. Later on, Arney was spurred when Burfoot publicly said he would not support it. Arney did tell the court, though, that Burfoot did help him later on down the road, even though that gentleman's club project fell through. Now, we just heard prosecutors told the judge they plan to wrap up their part of this case tomorrow at noon, and then, of course, the defense will take over. That's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.